Hello there. Fireman Sam here. Welcome to Ponty Pandy. Type in your name, or if you've played before, click on it in the list. Then click on the green thumbs up button. You can always go back by clicking on the red back button. If you need help, I'm always around. <laughs> Welcome back to Ponty Pandy. <laughs> Click on where you want to go. The places you can visit will come alive as you're promoted up from trainee. To get back to the fire station, click on the red back button. Where's that smoke coming from? There's no smoke without fire. Fire! Fire on the farm! Shouts Sarah. Quick, James! Dial 999! A good hose down should put out the blaze, says Fireman Sam. The animals are saved, but they've lost their voices. They must have breathed in the smoke, says Sam. I'll call Trevor Evans. He'll know what to do. There's been a fire at Pandy Farm, and all the animals have lost their voices. Can you help Auxiliary Fireman Trevor Evans to find them? Choose level one, two, or three. Can you match the sounds on the clouds to the animals on the farm? Click on the words in blue and drag them onto the animals and see what happens. <coughs> Try again. <coughs> Spot on. Spot on. That's the one. That's the one. Great! Just right! Spot on! Oh no! Bella! Save me! Now it's noisier than old MacDonald's farm. Thanks to Trevor Evans. Where is Trevor? Our station officer Steele. Uh, not sure, sir, says Sam. I think he's gone home for a bit of peace and quiet. Well done. Allow me to present you with a certificate which we'll put in your logbook. Norman has just got a new chemistry set, and his mum smells trouble. Norman! What are you up to? asks Mrs. Price. Nothing, says Norman. 
Just making a present for the best mum in the world. Mrs Price thinks Norman's a little angel, but she's in for the devil of a surprise. <laughs> There's a bit of a stink in Norman's room. Join him to experiment mixing and matching colours, tastes and smells. Click on a level to begin. Open the top drawer of the cabinet and choose the colour you need to match the picture. Drag an item from the cabinet and drop it into the crusher. When you're happy with the colour in the flask, Click on the purple heater to fill the spray bottle. When you've matched two pictures, click on the green thumbs up button to move on. Well done. Excellent work. What's that smell? asks Mrs. Price. It's eau de poo. I made it for you, says Norman. Have a little squirt, says Norman. When Mrs. Price smells the scent, she kicks up an awful stink. Oh, the only little squirt I want is you, bawls Mrs. Price. Come here, you little terror! Well done. Allow me to present you with a certificate which we'll put in your logbook.
Great fires of London, yells Sam. The oven's on fire. Oh, uh, no, wails Elvis. Station officer Steele hates soot sponge with charcoal chunks. Don't worry, says Sam. Bella's baking today. Her cakes are the best in Ponty Pandy. We'll ice one of hers, explains Sam. Station officer Steele won't know the difference. <laughs> Welcome to Bella's Cafe. Here you can decorate one of Bella's cakes with your own design for Station Officer Steele's tea. Click on one for newcomers, two for more experienced players, and three for free design. Click on a picture on the wall to choose a cake design. Click on the green thumbs up button when you're happy with your cake. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Fantastico. I, I, I'm shaking all over, says Elvis. We're, we're just back in time. Excellent cake, Cridlington, exclaims Station Officer Steele. Well done, that man. Now it's iced. Let's get it sliced, says Sam. Funny, remarks Station Officer Steele. This smells just like one of Bella's cakes. Tastes like it, too. Well done. Allow me to present you with a certificate which we'll put in your logbook. Naughty Norman has made a new go-kart in five easy steps. Norman! Have you seen my steps? asks Mrs. Price. I can't reach the shelves without them. Sorry, Mum. Gotta go, replies Norman. Don't worry, says Sam. It's about time you were fully automated. Will it hurt? asks Dillis. Penny and Sam are having a dinner party and I've given you the list of items to buy for them from Dillis's shop. Click on one for the starter, two for the main course, and three for dessert. Look at the things on the shopping list and click where they appear on the shelves to make my new machine knock them down for you. I'm sorry, you can't have that. It's for Norman's tea tonight. Good choice. I got that fresh this morning. Good choice. I got those fresh this morning. Good choice. I got... Good choice. I got that fresh this morning. Good choice. I got those fresh this morning. Well 
done. I'll have to order some more of those now. Oh, I wonder how much all that costs now. Oh, that's too much! Oh, smack on! Well done! That's right! Right? Oh, smack on! Well, ta very much. You can come back whenever you want. There you are, Dillis, says Sam. I always said you sold things at knockdown prices. Awesome! You're so romantic! Well done. Allow me to present you with a certificate which we'll put in your logbook. It's time for the fancy dress competition at the Ponty Pandy Festival. Ready, everyone? Asks Station Officer Steele. Are the lights right? Lights bright and right, sir, replies Sam. There's a ride in Jupiter for the winner. Who will it be? <laughs> Welcome to Ponty Pandy Fancy Dress Party. Click on levels 1, 2 or 3 to play. Or click on the red back button to return to the last screen. Click on the three lights on the right of the stage to see the costume. When you think you know who it is, click on the character. The fewer tries you have, the higher your score.
Fancy you two winning the fancy dress, says Sam. Trevor goes ape when he sees a gorilla on the loose. That's no gorilla, says Sarah. It's naughty Norman Price. He always was a cheeky monkey, chuckles Sam. Well done. Allow me to present you with a certificate which we'll put in your logbook. Norman is waiting for the fish to bite, and Rosa would like a bite of fish too. Norman tries to land a big catch, and lands himself in big trouble. Behave yourselves, shouts Norman as the bees behave badly. Help! Fireman Sam, shouts Norman. Rosa has fallen down a mine and landed on me. Norman and Rosa have fallen down the mine. Can you help rescue them? Click on 1 for newcomers, 2 for experienced players, and 3 for expert navigators. It's all right, Norman. We'll soon have you out of here. I found Norman. This won't take long. Look out! Great fires of London. A rock fall. We'll have to go out the other way. We can't get back. The way's blocked by rocks. Can you help me? Right, Norman. Let's go and find Rosa and then get out of here. Find Rosa the cat and then help me and Norman to get out of the mine. Use the buttons at the bottom of the screen to guide me to the way out. I found Rosa. Now we've got to get to the exit. Come on Come then, on Rosa. Rosa. Ah, here we are. Thanks very much. We've found a way out. Safe and sound, Norman and Rosa return to the river with Fireman Sam. Now let's see this enormous fish you've caught, says Sam. Whoa, he's a whopper, gasps Sam. I think it's a pike. Oh, no! It's a bike! wails Norman. Never mind, Norman, says Sam. Let's go back to Bella's. The fish fingers are on me. Well done. Allow me to present you with a certificate which we'll put in your logbook. Sarah and James are hunting for hidden treasure. What a pain! We've smashed the water main, cries Sarah. Dial 999, says James. Will the fountain ever work again, Uncle Sam? asks Sarah and James. We'll see, replies Sam. Naughty Norman has mountains of fountain surprises up his sleeve. <laughs> Come, 
Can you help fix Potty Pandy's leaky fountain? Click on one to play, two to fix the fountain, and three for the ultimate challenge. Click on the small taps to open or close the pipe. A green tap is open and a red tap is closed. Then click on the big red wheel to turn the water on or off. To change the fountain, turn the big wheel off first. That's Brill Uncle Sam. Look at that fountain. Well done, you two. Now, how about a special ice cream at Bella's? Sam is amazed by the fabulous football fountain. So, that's how Norman gets his kicks, says Sam. Well done, Norman, exclaims Sam. I take my hat off to you. Hats off to you, too, chuckles Norman. Well done. Allow me to present you with a certificate which we'll put in your logbook. <laughs> Sam loves being on holiday. There's nothing to do but relax. Oh, there's nothing to do, moaned James and Sarah. It's dull, dull, dull. Dull, eh? says Sam. What we need is a bright idea. Sarah and James can't wait to work on Sam's idea in his inventing shed. Welcome to Sam's Inventing Shed. Each level has a different secret blueprint for you to make and a game to play. You can build my invention by picking up and dragging the pieces from the shelves onto the correct shapes on the blueprint. When you've completed the invention, you'll be able to play a game with it.
excellent play. You really got Mop moving this time. It's been ages since I had so much fun, says Sam. Meet Binbot, the automatic litter collector. He works while we play. But Binbot wants to play, not work. Quick, call the fire brigade, shouts Sam, before this hunk of junk trashes the place. Well done. Allow me to present you with a certificate which we'll put in your logbook. Hello, Dillis, says Trevor Evans. I'm looking for a smoke alarm. Fireman Sam says my house is a death trap without one. You need the Detector Deluxe, says Dillis. Even if you're sleeping, you'll hear the warning bleep. You haven't left anything dangerous on at home, have you, Trevor? Asks Dillis. There are smoke signals coming from Trevor's house, yells Penny Morris. Well, it can't be Red Indians, replies Station Officer Steele. Station Officer Steele calls Trevor's house a death trap. Can you spot the three dangerous hazards in levels 1 and 2? And six dangerous hazards in level 3? Don't worry, it's only an exercise. <music> Click on the fire hazards in Trevor's kitchen to highlight them. There are three hazards to find. When you found them all, click the green thumbs up button. I think you've missed some dangerous things. I think you've missed some dangerous things. Well done. We'll make a firefighter out of you yet. Oh, Trevor, says Penny. We've just had a call out to your house. Well, I bought a smoke alarm like Sam told me to do replies Trevor. I wonder why it didn't go off. Wake up, Trevor, says Dillis. The alarm's got to be in your house before the fire starts. Well done. Allow me to present you with a certificate which we'll put in your logbook. <laughs> It's concert night in Ponty Pandy, and Station Officer Steele has been caught napping. He'll soon wake up when you sing, This Old Man, Trevor, says Fireman Sam. And when you sing, Ponty Pandy's Burning, replies Trevor. What? Ponty Pandy's Burning? says sleepy Station Officer Steele. Um, call the uh, fire engines. Fire! Fire! Welcome to the grand finale. The Ponty Pandy School Concert Spectacular, where you can sing along to Elvis's tunes or compose one of your own by using a whole variety of instruments. Click on Elvis to start or stop the music playing. Get ready to sing along with the words. If you like, you can choose a different song by clicking on the lights at the bottom of the screen. 
At the end of the song, you can change the musical instrument by clicking on the round board. When you finish singing, click on the green thumbs up button. Station officer Steele snores through everything, except the applause at the end of the show. Mm, yeah, yeah, what? 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 He mumbles. Uh, breakfast time already? Oh, good show. Good show. Good show. Cheers, station officer Steele. Yes, sir, chuckles Sam. It went like a dream. Well done. Allow me to present you with a certificate which will put in your logbook. <laughs>